Battery electric cars, plug-in hybrid electrics, they're all the rage these days. So much so that you can't even find one right now. However, there is still definitely a place for the gasoline electric hybrid. And we have that here in one of the greats, the Honda Accord for 2022. Get in, it's time for Family Wheels. Your support helps keep Family Wheels rolling, so thanks for watching. Seeing as you're here already, give the channel a like. It helps spread the word. Subscribe and click the little bell to be notified of the next review and share your thoughts in a comment. Legendary is an overused word, but the Honda Accord has earned it. From the first generation in 1976 up to today, the Accord has had levels of style, performance, comfort and convenience well above its price. Like the Civic, it was a value-driven assault on the complacency of the automotive establishment. This Japanese sedan that's built in Ohio contributed to the demise of the U.S. sedan, as did that assembled in Kentucky Japanese bestseller, the Toyota Camry. In this time of stomach-turning fuel prices, the Accord Hybrid steps into the spotlight, grabs the microphone, and says it is the combination of luxury, sportiness, and economy you need in a snazzy mid-size sedan. Well, maybe. Let's run some numbers. The hybrid uses about one-third less fuel in city driving than its non-hybrid counterpart, 2.8 liters per 100 kilometers less. At 15,000 Ks a year and $2 a liter, that's $420. Unfortunately, this trim, Touring, costs $4,220 more than its non-hybrid counterpart with continuously variable transmission. It would take 10 years for fuel savings to make up the difference even at today's ludicrous prices. The comparison slightly improves for the base model hybrid, which costs $3,700 more than its internal combustion counterpart, but payback would still take nearly nine years. This gas savings gap isn't the fault of the hybrid. It's because the internal combustion Accord Touring is already a thrifty car at 8.1 liters per 100 kilometers in city driving. Honda has decades of experience at making front-wheel drive, four-cylinder cars, feel quite sporty not like they're trying to push the nose off the road and the accord is no exception there is a sport mode turns some of the gauges red it apparently changes some settings it feels pretty darn sporty the accord hybrid has three power modes hybrid drive where the engine powers a generator that supplies the two electric drive motors Engine drive with the engine driving the front wheels at highway speeds. And EV drive with the small battery pack doing all the work for short distances at city speeds. There is no transmission per se. The engine remains disconnected from the electric motors until the car's speed rises to the point where two clutch packs bring the engine and front wheels together. At lower speeds, the engine revs up when the throttle is pressed, but it's actually just providing more electricity to the two motors and the battery. Pretty clever, because it sounds like a conventional internal combustion setup being given the gas. Honda says the hybrid actually has fewer moving parts than the non-hybrid. Engine sounds. It's nice. On an electric car, you can set the regen to a certain level where you're comfortable. Could be one pedal driving, could be no regen for max coasting. Here, you pull the left lever a few times and it adds arrows on the display and you get more of a, uh, a braking effect and a, and a charge effect showing up on the display. And then a few seconds after that, it disappears and you're back to normal. Brakes are smooth and linear, they're not grabby and not mushy. The trunk easily accommodates our typical cargo of three bags of groceries, a backpack and stroller. Underneath there are four handy storage bins and a tire inflation kit. But I'd also like to see a layer of sound deadening material here to damp the Accord's road noise, particularly over bumps. The Accord passes our child seat test. Behind me is a rear-facing child seat, the one that takes up the most room. Here in the front, I've got just enough room for my 5 feet 11 inch, 180 centimeter frame. There's plenty of room in the back seat of the Accord. Look at all the knee room I've got. The driver's seat is set up for me. 
Headroom is another matter. There is room for somebody up to about six feet tall, but they had to put a couple of carve-outs in the headliner in order to accommodate the steeply raked back of the roof. Also back here, we've got the usual HVAC vents, a couple of USB-A ports, and at this trim level, heated rear seats. Well, let's take the Accord down our neighborhood bumpy road and see how it handles the potholes and patches and such and speed bumps. I would say generally good over the bumps. Sometimes you get a sharp bump and particularly out of the rear, you will get a, a, a bit of a, a booming sound like that. But overall, the long wheelbase of the vehicle, its overall length, uh, certainly helps provide a good ride. Our top spec Accord Hybrid, the Touring, has an arm's length list of features. Notable are adaptive dampers for better handling, 19 inch wheels, rain sensing wipers, LED headlights, moonroof, an excellent head up display with easy to use controls, no fiddling with menus, two position driver seat memory, ventilated front seats in perforated leather and power adjusted front passenger seat. But even the base trim has loads of goodies, including 12 way power adjusted driver seat with lumbar, walk away door locks, wireless charging, and wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Both cars have Honda's generous complement of passive and active safety features, and the Touring adds blind spot and rear cross traffic monitoring. While a redesigned Accord for the 2023 model year is expected to go on sale this fall, it's unlikely to make the current model, regardless of drivetrain, look badly out of date. The 2022 Civic is a substantial improvement on an already excellent model, but it got a styling upgrade that's obviously influenced by the Accord that's been around for several years with only a minor styling refresh. Expect that design language to continue on the 23 Accord with some new aspects and look for improvements similar to those of the Civic in terms of chassis strength and other tech. Well, that's our look at the 2022 Honda Accord Hybrid. I think it's a practical, stylish, and sporty alternative to the ubiquitous SUV. What do you think? Leave a comment. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for liking, and thanks for subscribing. I'm Richard Detman, and I'll see you next time on Family Wheels.